Hi, I'm Paul from UK Brewing Supplies. Today we're going to talk about dispensing cask ale through beer engines utilising a back bar cooler. The most important thing in dispensing cask ale, in whatever method, is that you have the correct temperature. It should be between 50 and 56 degrees. Most back bar coolers are operating about 38 to 40 degrees. So you're going to have to find a way of modifying that. Some manufacturers will do it. They may offer a red wine cooler, which would work perfectly. Otherwise, an external thermostat with a probe that would override the thermostat in the cooler, that will work fine. You may have seen the previous video that we've done where we use a cast cooler with the Angram CC attached directly on top of the cooler. Uh, that is on the website. Uh, this is using the cooler, but this time having beer engines on the bar. In this case, we have the counter mounts, but whether they're clamp-ons or counter mounts, it doesn't make any difference. But this is uh, the video today is going to show how we do that. The keg cooler here is basically a three keg cooler. We serve two cask ales at all time and often have the third one ready to go. These beer engines are actually water jacketed beer engines. So there is a jacket around the cylinder that you can run coolant around. What we do is we have a water reservoir which is basically a bucket of water with an external pump that pumps the water up the beer line although it's only about three feet, around the water jackets and then back into the bucket. That way the beer in the line and in the cylinder is always at the same temperature. I'm going to open the cooler now and you can see the water reservoir and the setup that we have here at the Bull's Head. Um, it's going to get a little noisy with the fan so I may have to raise my voice. But over here, we basically have the water reservoir and we have an external pump and that pumps the water up around the beer lines and up to the jacket of the cylinder. It's very important to use an external pump. If you use a submersible pump, the action of the pump will actually heat the water up and you'll find that you'll be heating the beer instead of cooling the beer. We also, in this setup, we use the cask wedge system, which is, gives you the ability to dispense the cask in an upright position. Most keg coolers, it's a little tight to get them horizontally. So the cask wedge system works perfectly. I'll show you that. There is a video on the site all about the cask wedge, but you can see basically how it works here. So the cask wedge system, as you can see, enables you to dispense the cask in an upright position. Uh, as I said earlier, there's a video on the site where we'll ex explain it in more detail, but there's a tube with a float that, um, as the beer level decreases, the float follows it down. Works very well and obviously takes up less space. So that's how to use a back bar cooler for cask ale and the water reservoir for cooling the beer line and the water jacketed cylinders. It's an excellent method, I think. One, you have a very short beer line, so there's not a, not a lot of waste in the line in cleaning. Uh, two, with the water jacketed cylinder and the uh, water reservoir, it enables you to keep the beer at the same temperature. So what we find is after pulling the first pull in the day, which we would dispense of, then during the course of the day, we never waste any beer. So um, definitely an option if you've got the space behind the bar, I would highly recommend it.